All right, so this is pretty much a little simple automatic water setup that I'm working on right now. So pretty much the way it works is we're gonna have one of these microcontrollers right here. Um, you get these even cheaper now, 20-ish dollars for this microcontroller. And then these motors right here, you can get for like a couple of dollars. And pretty much all you need to do is hook it up to the power supply and the water will run. Um, the goal here is I'm gonna build my own circuit. So this is gonna be hooked up to the main power supply and it's gonna have a transistor that turns on and off because it's a uh, low amp. So I can use a transistor instead of a relay. And this will actually pump in the water to the plants. Um, I just tried it out right now. And from looking inside, you can kind of see that one has been getting water. These strawberries are doing amazing on getting water. Um, actually, let me just go ahead and pick this up. All right, so this one looks like we open it up. Um, checking this one, it actually looked like it was watering. Uh, no, it's still dry in there. So these plants right here, I think I'm gonna dig these up, take these out. It looks like they all, I got these from a different place and it looks like they all have like some sort of like, either they these plants have diseases on it now because I see black dots and stuff or something's getting to them. But for some reason, it's only happening on these. So I'm gonna take these out from the batch because I feel like it's just too risky to have them here with my other strawberries that are doing amazing. Um, now that I just touched those plants, I'm not gonna to touch these. But as you can tell, my strawberries right here are actually starting to look like they're doing good. These are two separate plants. So that is one plant right there that has literally three strawberries. And then this one closer to me has another one growing on the side. Like I said, I just touched other plants. So I don't wanna to touch this one. But yeah, you can see these are growing right here. Those were doing good. This one is starting to flower again. So I might be getting a new strawberry all of a sudden here now. I'm not really sure. But out of all of these, it looks like the seascape strawberries are doing the best for me. Um, and yeah, but this is like automatic water system. Pretty much the goal for this is because of the desert sun, uh, if you water too late in the day, like around like 10 or 11 a.m., um, it started causing the plants to burn a little. So now instead of make sure water doesn't get on the leaves by using a system, I'm also giving directions to the roots at the exact same time. I can have my watering to be earlier in the morning, later in the evening. And for right now, I believe I was over watering that plant right there. That's why the edges started burning. So I've been watering less. And now that I've been watering all the plants less, they're all doing really good now on actually getting me more um, like they're actually doing a little better now. So yeah, I think I'm gonna let these just die out and I'll start something else new out here. Probably uh, move the sunflowers out to this one, but the sunflowers, they're not sun like hardy. So I gotta train them to be good for the sun, but this is like the simple setup right now. Damn, strawberries looking good. We got strawberries right here, strawberries right there, strawberries right here, and another one. 